mentioned something in one of your videos, and I believe this to be true, is that <clears throat> for Aikido to actually be effective, you already have to know how to fight. So, yeah, like you cannot understand uh, where he's coming from unless you you yourself live some type of, you know, experience some resistance in your life. Like, for example, um, um, you have, like, you're married, you, you're married? Or, you know, uh, yeah, like, yeah, married. Okay. Married, married. Okay. So you're married, you live in several countries, you went there, you did that, you learned so much in life, you did two more two more shots or maybe more. Um, you cannot, for example, come up to a 12 year old who still has a lot to learn in life and then tell them your side of story and your perspective on life and then expect them to fully embrace it. They still have to go through a lot of things by themselves in life and learn them you know, from their own experience. That's why the, the human race, if you read literature from 200 years ago, 300 years ago about really personal things, regardless of how much we've evolved as a society, we still feel like a lot of things still apply to us because regardless, we still have to experience things uh, from our own eyes or two eyes, basically. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I understand perfectly what you mean, because if, uh, if, if, let's say I was 13 years old, and you start telling me, well, you know, like, you start talking about the spiritual aspect of martial arts, about inner mastery, about harmony, i would look at you and be like, No, I want to learn how to fight, because that's, yes. that's cool. You know, I saw that on TV, and that's what I want to do. So in, in, until you go through enough uh, things like that, more experience in your life. And yeah, uh, yeah that's why but me at this point, I feel as though, <clears throat> like, if I were to go into learn Aikido, I could draw a lot more out of it than if I was 13 years old trying to learn Aikido. Like at this point, because I've, you know, I've, I've trained in, in, well, I, not to be, not to sound cocky, but I, I believe I know how to fight. <laughs> I, I could yeah, take I mean, care of myself. It, like exactly. defense wise, I could, I could strike, I could grapple. I do wrestling, I do judo, you know, I do BJJ, you know, and um, so, so, so I, I believe I could fight. And, and knowing yeah. that, like, and, and being at a certain level too, I think that, um, um, like, I could understand Aikido now. Like, if you tell me, okay, the guy comes in like this, this is his power, you got to, like, circle around, blah, 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 use his own force against him. Yeah. And then from here, you grab the joint and you do this. I could probably uh, benefit, I could probably end up integrating that into, into yeah. what I already know as much better than somebody who has no background and who's just learning straight Aikido from, from the beginning. Like, yeah, the, the, that's the thing. When you read his, uh, his writings, you would see that, you know, it's, uh, that's, you know, it's for peace. Uh, they, these techniques should be done for this. Um, I don't want to injure. I don't want to compete. I should have said, I don't want to injure. I don't want to compete dot, dot, dot anymore because you know, he's in his in that phase in his life where you know what I've done all of that. I think I want something new, but you cannot uh, read it and comprehend it from you know basically zero training experience or fighting ever. Because if you do and you adopt it and you say you know what I am peaceful because that's what I used to say. Um, I, I I'm a black belt in Aikido and uh, I did that because I wanted to learn how to defend myself and I was very I wasn't as confident as I am today. And I found that, yes, it did help me a lot in a lot of aspects in life in terms of physical fitness, also learning some philosophical aspect that translated into daily life. But in terms of fighting, uh, I just became, when I, like a lot of people say peaceful, but I, be, I was harmless. There's a difference, you know? Um, you know, if you can fight and you can keep everything in order, then you're peaceful because you're using this force for you know to keep order to keep uh, yourself your loved ones safe that's something and when you say i don't want to fight because i'm peaceful but you don't know how to fight then you're just harmless because anyone can impose anything on you at that point so when he said i don't want to fight anymore these should be for peace yeah but in that phase of his life because he learned several jujitsu schools including judo then daitoryu it's not just daitoryu as people think uh, he went to war, taught the military after that. So it's, it com it's coming from someone that has fought rigorously, then decided that 
can, I want to stop. But you cannot say that when you've never fought or don't know how to fight. There's a big difference. So we need to understand where he's coming from. And like, that's like, for example, there's a new, um, uh, I'd say material or details that were invented for elevations or buildings. I'm an architect, I'm talking about architecture here. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and then they're very revolutionary in terms of what they do, et cetera. But that building has a particular foundation in order to have these on its elevation. So I cannot do uh, these, like have these detailing uh, on my elevations without having the proper foundation for it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's uh, it's a funny thing. You know, um, you ever heard of uh, Jordan Peterson? The um... yeah, yeah, the sci sociologist, oh, psychologist. Like yeah, psychologist, uh, sociologist, uh, psycholo uh, psychologist, and I think he, he was a teacher too. I think yeah. he still teaches, but anyways, he said something to the effects of um, a good man is not a harmless man. A good man is somebody who's capable of extreme violence, but yeah. who, who consciously decides to keep that under control. Yeah, I saw that. I, I saw something that. Like yeah, that. and I agree with him. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, I, I think that I, I agree with that too, you know, and that's kind of, um, that's kind of what we're talking about here, like Morihei uh, Ueshiba, like, because of what he's been through, now he wants peace. Now he's like, listen, I want to use this, like, the, the whole idea of Aikido is not to fight. 